Two minutes, Delano. All right, thanks a lot, Brigida. Now on Bounce, I want to introduce you to our Bounce High School Coach of the Week. Let's welcome East Lincoln High School Head Coach Mike Byers to the show. Thanks for being here, Coach. Yeah, thanks for having me. Good practice today. Did you guys get the workout? Yeah, and we condensed it a little bit and got things done a little faster than, than normal just since we don't have a game Friday. Okay. Uh, went very well. How, how is it to have an off week? Is that, does that just really just uh, screw up everything? It as far just as it messes up your whole routine, Delana. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would have guessed it would. And the kids know you don't have a game, too. So. <laughs> yeah, so, so maybe they're but, not just uh, they're hustling no, as much as they I'm, usually I'm, do. Uh, I'm proud of them. They work pretty hard today. Well, good. Well, a big win over four for you uh, oh, the past was. weekend, if you will, because it was kind of like a two-night event, right? That You had the postponements and all that kind of stuff going to you, because you postponed on Friday and then you had to make yep. it up on Monday, right? Yeah. And a uh, big win over Forest View. You said that that was a great game, right? Oh, it was some kind of game. It was up back and forth, up and down all night long. Uh, it ended up 40-33 and I think it was just a matter of who had the ball last. Yeah. You know, tremendous athletes on that side of the ball and and uh, well coached, so always a feather in your cap when you can you can beat a team like Forest View. Yeah, we talk about uh, messing your week up when you have an off week. That's got to mess you up uh, with a postponement on Friday, and you got to get the team back up to come back and play on Saturday or Sunday or Monday, or whatever it is. That must have been tough. Yeah, I mean Monday's usually the day I give them off on their open week, so <laughs> they really weren't happy about that. But mm -hmm. but no, they came back and played well, and then the game started out with a feel of a scrimmage. You know, the fans weren't quite as full. The, Van's not there, cheerleaders not there. The, uh, you know, so it's it's like you're going to go scrimmage earlier in the year. It's just kind of dead. It actually started third and six from the 40 yard line. I mean, there wasn't a kickoff. Wow. Uh, Coach Mill and I were talking before the game, said, oh, "What are you going to do? We're going to uh, meet with the kids. We're going to run out. We're going to play the national anthem. What are we going to do? <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> How's this work? Or, uh, I don't know. Talk to your kids, and we'll just send them out there." So it's, that's why it was kind of like a scrimmage. It's like, "All right, defense, right. you're out there, and their offense was." So we went actually one and out. Uh, and was able to do what we needed to do. They came out after halftime and did what they needed to do. They they came out, scored, stopped us, got the ball back, you know, and to get back in the game. Right. And then we were able to hold them off. Have, able to get them stopped and scored in three plays and kind of got that little separation we needed. Then they came storming back and took a 33. 32 lead, right. and then we drove down and scored with 40 some seconds to go in the game, and was able to hold on. So it, it was a barn burner. So it quickly turned into a high intensity game. Wow! There wasn't any scrimmage after, I mean, after I can it started going up and down. Uh, the competitive juices started to flow. Uh, mm -hmm. You guys undefeated, and uh, but by the way, just to let you know, you broke into our football Friday night top ten. Uh, you're All right. number ten this week. Uh, <laughs> so congratulations to you on that. That whole area. I was in Cherryville uh, about three weeks ago. West Lincoln uh, Tuesday for Charles Mac George. He won the FFN, Henry Lexus Player of the Week. Uh, that whole area is just, it breathes and, and, and lives football, doesn't it? I tell you, well, you know, I've been down here 10 years now, and this is my third high school as a head coach and my fifth high school overall. And uh, this area, high school football is so exciting in this area, and the coverage of high school football in this area even adds to the excitement. Uh, and, um, you know, the, the individual communities across the across this local area that care about athletics in general, but the football programs. And, and it really creates for some good playoff environments and conference championship environments. Yes. So I'm really happy to be in this area. My family enjoys it. And and a lot of it is, is due to you guys as leaders. Of I mean, for years ago when you started covering high school football so well, and I know a lot of people have, have kicked in, and we really appreciate all the coverage you give us. We certainly appreciate that You won a state championship back in 2012. Uh, uh, how difficult is it to get to back to the big game and win it all? Well, you know, that's always a challenge. Everybody's trying, and, and uh, everybody's trying to do the same thing you are. So uh, it really comes down to, and I go back to that 2012 team, and, and the thing they did um, that I think other teams maybe missed was they prepared every week to get ready to play no matter who they were playing. Wow. And so the, the practice preparation, the mental preparation to get ready for those games, and that's what I've always told my kids. I don't care if you win or lose a game. I care if you prepare to play the game properly, right. and if you you know if you play well. So that's the biggest thing for me. And they look at me funny sometimes. Like, you don't care if we win. <laughs> well, if you do the best it's you can and effort. you prepare to play, that's all you can do. So, Coach uh, Mike Bias, our bounce coach of the week. Thanks for being here. Well, thank and, you. Uh, good luck. Uh, Next week, uh, good luck with the week off, and then next week as well. Thanks for being here. Yes, sir. All right. Thanks for having me again. Uh, Brigitte, back to you. Thank you.